and future projects are that I'm a proud student of the Great Peacemakers Multilingual School in Kotonou Benin Republic and currently under the tutorship of Master Gwemileke Olarinde. Let's learn together one type of figure of speech named metaphor. A metaphor is a figure of speech that makes an implicit, implied or hidden comparison between two things that are unrelated but we share some common characters. In other words, a resemblance of two contradictory or different objects is made based on a single or some common character. In simple English, when you portray a person, place, thing or an action as being something else, even though it is not actually that something else, the followings are the examples of men. Number one, my brother is the black sheep of the family. Number two, my brother was boiling mad. This implies that my brother was very angry. Number three, the assignment was a breeze. This implies that the assignment was not too difficult. It is going to be clear skills from now on. This implies that clear skills are not a threat and life is going to be without hardship. Number five, the skies of his future began to darken. Darkness is a threat, therefore this implies that the coming times are going to be hard for him. Number 6. Her voice is music to his ears. This implies that her voice makes him feel happy. Number 7. He saw the soul of dust when passing through the dust storm. Number 8. Cause is the breeding ground of order. Number 9. War is the mother of all battles. Number 10. Her dance is a great poem. Number 11. A new road to freedom passes through this valley of death. Number 12. My, co my conscience is my barometer. Number 13. His white face shows his concern. Number 14. His kisses are like roses. Number 15. He married her to have a trophy wife. Number 16. Laughter is the best medicine. Number 17. Words are daggers when spoken in anger. Number 18, his words appears of wisdom. Thank you. Bye. Hi guys, I'm Future of Zayat Amon. I'm a past student of the Great Peacemaker Multilingual School Kotonou in Benin Republic. I'm currently on the tutorship of Masakbe Mleke Online Day. Let us learn the figure of speech analogy. Analogy. Analogy is a comparison between two things. Analogies function to describe or explain one thing by examining its similarities with another thing. The two things may be very dissimilar, and the analogy forces the reader or listener to understand the connection between them. On the other hand, the analogy could provide a comparison between two very, two very similar things, one of which might be more obscure. The analogy provides a way for a reader or listener to understand and the more obscure thing by picturing the more common thing. Many common literary, literary devices are examples of analogy such as metaphor, simile, allegory, parable, and amplification. We examine the differences between these devices below. Analogy comes from the Greek word analogia, which is a combination of the prefix ana, upon, again, or back, and the suffix logos, ratio, word, or speech. Together, the word means something akin to proportion. For example, example one, her fleece was white as snow. Example two, as light as a feather. Example three, as busy as a bee. Example 4. As quiet as a mouse. Example 5. As happy as a clam. Example 6. Sly like a fox. Example 7. You are as sweet as sugar. Example 8. That would be as difficult as finding a feather in a haystack. Example 9. We will not be satisfied. We will not be satisfied until justice rolls down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream example 10 as big as a mansion thank you for today bye hi this is a figure of speech by john princess 
Figure of speech is a figurative word that expresses an idea, satirizes images through figurative expression. For example, simile. Simile means a figure of speech that compares two things using like or as, e.g., the China is as fast as a cheetah. Her English is as good as her teachers. They fat like cats and rats. 2. Metaphor Metaphor means a figure of speech that compares two things without using like or as, e.g., I am a kangaroo in child caring. You are your mother when giving. Personification is a figure of speech that compares a thing, an idea, or an animal is giving human attribute. E.g., my computer stubbornly refused to start. The virus in the phone stubbornly run the battery down. 4. Oxymoron Oxymoron is a figure of speech in which opposite or contradictory ideas of terms are combined. E.g., she is a living dead. I met a very, a very fast name. Alliteration. It means a figure of speech that has a repetition of a consonant sound. E.g., come and clean your closet. 2. Let love lead. Hyperbol. A figure of speech exaggerating to show strong feeling or affection. E.g., this bag is heavier than the mountain. My house is a million miles away. Fine. A figure of speech that is a joke that makes a play on word. E.g. She herself in London. Why she has been thrown inside the dustbin. Ha! Huh. When a pregnant woman is giving birth, she experiences the pain. Chiamus. A verbal pattern in which the second half of an expression is balanced against the first, but with the part reversed. Hi, dear. Dear, hi. You want to be fair. Fair, you want to be. Anaphora. Repetition of the same word or phrases at the beginning of success, su successive chorus or verses. E.g., we shall see. Or that is e.g., we shall see who is the best. We shall put our trust in God. Irony, the uses of word to convey the opposite of alliteration meaning. A statement or a situation where the meaning is contradicted by the appearance or presentation of the idea. E.g., gentlemen, you can't fight in here. This is war room. I am as smart as a soup dish. Thanks. Yes, I'm a happy dude. I'm a happy, happy, happy dude. Happy, 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 happy. Happy, happy, happy dude.